yeah so that's when like we we started now dating again and then in 2019 i went home and after i went and saw him when i came back that's when i started the process the k1 visa okay yeah. when you see each other mm -hmm. you you revive it everything is just oh, yeah. okay now everything is making sense now for yeah. sure for sure we're yeah. together because mm -hmm. I, I think we wanted to also know like is this just a fantasy that we have or right. like just thinking that love that we had before is still there you know you never know it's been so many years that's true people change like there's so much that has happened in between do we even still have love for each other after, that's true. after we've been through so much right yeah so after we met each other that's when we were both like okay i think we can go ahead and start the process so the process the k1 process how long did, does it take is it it was actually pretty fast for us except for the pandemic is it no like, what eight months it was eight months. <coughs> Around so, eight months. Yeah. That is a fiancé visa for, yeah. the, for those who don't know, right? Yeah. yeah, the K-1 is the fiancé visa. It took eight months from the, when I applied to when he got his visa. But then he couldn't travel yet because the, the international travel ban happened mm. in okay. Kenya. Mm. Yeah, so he had to wait like six months and then that's when he joined me. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So that was fast after you guys got back together. That mm -hmm. was, and that was very good. I'm happy that happened because imagine if you took another nine years, eh, that would have been another nine years. We uh, would have babies with other people. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? Yeah, I yeah. mean it's it's a long time. And ma and in marriage now that you are married, mm -hmm. do you ever talk discuss about like uh, during that time you had broken up like? Uh, were you guys dating like other like some other affairs because i know that can affect your relationship Wait, it was not affairs there were relationships yeah oh, really? we had oh, real relationships oh, during yeah. that time like, oh. we, we, we yeah. broke up and went separate ways and we dated other people and oh. it was like we were like yeah. okay you do your life i do my life mm -hmm. and we didn't speak during that time yeah oh God, i think you guys were meant to be for sure yeah it was and i've been around them i know that you know these they are they are good people and you know you Muna match, son. Yeah, so that's what I, that's why I was saying. Like, what really held us together was the I think the initial love that we had, yeah, and like just the good relationship that we had before, and all the things that we knew. Like our we sh we have shared values. We are compatible with each other. That's true. And so like that, we always gravitated towards each other. But I think it's there's a saying that that goes like. If something is yours, it will still come back to you. Yes. I don't know whether mm -hmm. it's a Swahili mm -hmm. or yeah. Uh, do you have you ever yeah. heard yeah. of that? If, if something of oh, if, if something is meant for you, it will come back. It will come back to you. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad it it did. And uh, here you are with a beautiful mm -hmm. baby girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> and congratulations, guys. Also for Thank waiting. You. Let me tell you guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those people who are watching and you have your 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 husbands or your fiance it's worth waiting yeah. so what advice do you have for people who have a distance who are in, in the same situation oh, like in a long distance relationship yeah um try to find a way to close the distance uh -huh. so because that's the only way it can work like you can't be long distance forever so if you find a way that works for first of all like one of you has to be both of you have to be ready to sacrifice for their relationship. That's true. So one of you will have to move to the other person or either if you decide to both leave where you are to go to a new place, something like somebody uh, has to move mm -hmm. yeah. somewhere. So just find a way to close the distance and as quick as fast. Yeah. Yeah. ASAP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just have a plan. Mm -hmm. At least know this is the, the, the path that we'll use to get together mm -hmm. once you have that at least you have something to hold on to yeah 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 because yeah. i mean you can love the person very much mm. but sometimes like you need something to hold on to to tell you that okay you're gonna be with this person eventually okay. what would you like to tell people about remaining faithful when you are on in, in a distance relationship because i know some people are here and they decide to take people for like when I say Mapsaidiana. <laughs> is there anything like Saidiana? You've what never heard what, of what that. What is what is what is Saidiana? Like now mm -hmm. you are you are here. Nick was in Kenya. Uh -huh. You get into a relationship. 
that person knows that you have a boyfriend in Kenya but you just live together ile ya like unasema hapana we are just helping each other until your boyfriend gets here and when he gets here for me I'll just walk away wow you've never heard of that people do that a lot you need to helping each other yeah you are helping each other you are married like, back home I'm married back home but you're helping each other let's say <laughs> let's say uh-huh. you That's are ma- you, you they are like okay that is new you are married you know it ma- it's making sense what you're saying you are married back home and he's ma- he's here he's married back home mm-hmm. you say okay my boy my husband is back in Kenya and my wife is back in Kenya now that us here we are together together oh let's have a relationship mm-hmm. but we won't let our wives find out and when your husband when your wife join here or your whoever their partner will join first the other one will walk away mm-hmm. do you believe in something like that like this some- okay me, me okay personally i think such things exist it's not like it's a new concept because <clears throat> we have watched a lot of these um how do you call it loyalty tests mm-hmm. and i'm i'm starting to believe so many things are happening out there yeah actually it has brought a lot of light so i believe such things happen but i wouldn't really recommend anyone mm-hmm. to do that because if for instance that person finds out because when they don't find out it's a uh, it's up to you but anyway who knows what will may leak over time isn't it yes yeah So personally I wouldn't recommend anyone right. to do that. Me to me I doesn't even make sense. I mean I know people do it probably but If you're going to be in a So well, are you if, calling that that cheating or you're calling that helping each other? That's cheating. <laughs> Especially okay, you know it could be I'm different if, cheating. It's not it's just plain and plain cheating because your person doesn't know back home. Yeah. You know if it was at a, okay so y- So your ha- the wife and the husband on the other side are also helping each other. If it's a collab, <laughs> then maybe. No, those ones they're not helping. Exactly. Those so, ones they're not so helping. Quali- it's only quali- them they don't need help. But you know this country is lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Even but that you country know, when you, you do this country is what? Lonely. lonely. Everywhere is lonely if you don't have your person and no, maybe people back to... home they are busy, you know? That's no, it's, what it, we it, say. It, it, mm-hmm. What what do you mean people back at home are busy? Like now you when you are busy when you're back home you are busy you have friends family but El here she was lone, she was lonely she needed some ah, help at that ah, time bet, you know <laughs> she's you like, can you can be lonely whichever part of the world you are yeah yeah so it's, a, it's sure. a personal decision to just wait oh yeah like i mean if you if you are choosing and everything is a choice right yes. nobody is forcing you to be in a long distance relationship if you don't want to be in a long distance relationship just Set tell your way. person you okay. know what this is hard for me i don't think i can do it let's just go our separate ways unless it's also an arrangement that um when you are there just do whatever you have to do mm-hmm. to survive yeah. I, when i'll join you you will stop and you will yeah. be with me if it's if there is open communication yeah. then go ahead and do it if that's what you both have agreed but if this if one person is thinking it's a monogamous uh, relationship and you, you are over here being helped or helping another person mm-hmm. then it's definitely not a uh, do you guys regret uh waiting all that wait no No. Do you? Oh wait, why are you thinking? <laughs> I, I, I'm just thinking because it's a question. I'm just thinking to give the right answer. Hey, okay, I'm even here I'm waiting for that answer. <laughs> like regretting to to wait. Like the the way we waited for all that time. Uh-uh. If we I wish we I came earlier. No, 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 no. Do you do you regret uh that you waited for her <coughs> and like to be together? Yeah. <coughs> no, 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 no. I don't regret that. I thought you meant Do I regret like waiting all that those years just to come at this time? No. Because no, no. if you ask that question I'll say yes because I wish I came earlier okay. so that we spend more time mm-hmm. and I won't take this much time to even when you come to the US you have to start from from scratch, right? Yes. So meaning my scratch would have been nine mm-hmm. years ago. Mm-hmm. And oh. and not and not um, how do you call it? And not two years ago. Mm. Oh, okay. So that would have been easier when we were young. Maybe maybe now I'd have maybe a 7 year old right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, or or maybe may, may not. Even Nyla is laughing. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's I a see, good, I it's see a, what you're saying. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a good thing, you know, because you don't um you know, the thing is you could have joined here and then you're like ah, this wasn't worth it. I don't like the country. There are so many things that can make people mm. regret, you know. Mm. Like you just feel like I wish my I, I got a job back home and continue. So it's like regret even coming to the country, not just no, the relationship. No, 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 no. I don't regret coming to the country. If you if you watch some of the videos that we've done, I'm actually saying um about the positive things that I've been able to achieve when I was here. In, yeah. the, in this short period, I've been able to I've been able to achieve more than I was mm-hmm. when I was back in Kenya. So definitely, I'm not regretting that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, I'm so happy for you. You know, you guys, you um honestly when we talk about it and when I look at you, I I I always say, you know, it's you know, love wins at the end of the day and also the you know, the the that patience and also fighting for what you love and what you want, what you really want. And distance relationship distance relationship works. It's not easy. Oh yeah. But it's I, hard. I think that's that's the hardest type, type of, of relationship. relationship. Yeah. Long distance, especially right now with all this technology. Actually, I feel like um, even the normal relationships are very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Because you will be with someone and they'll be talking with someone in Mexico. Yeah. And they are so much in love because <laughs> of the Instagram pictures they are seeing. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like relationship right now in total, all of it is very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Then it was a bit easy because you you have just to call that person. It's only calling, mm-hmm. and they, it's very hard for them to connect to people from other countries and other parts of the city. But right now, I think even in Snapchat, you can know where people are, you yeah. just who's around me, mm-hmm. and it shows you every beautiful person around you. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like relationship now is harder, whichever type of relationship. Yeah. But long distance. Whew. Yeah, Long you really have to you be know. you have to be really really like committed to that relationship mm. and committed to the person and both of you have to work really hard. So let me ask you this question because a lot of people uh they have that fear mm-hmm. including myself. Mm. I always say when I always say if I meet someone back home like now mm-hmm. I will have the fear of do they really want me for 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 me, or they want they really want me for for papers? They just want to a way mm-hmm. a pathway to the U.S. Mm-hmm. Did you have that fear, like when you are filing for him, and you know you you are lady? Did you get people discourage you? Simulate when you bring him, you change. Oh, like I mean, I hear that often. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know people don't like say it to your face. But I've had, you know, before when people started knowing that, you know, I'll be going and bringing him, they were like, eh, mm-hmm. like you've decided to add yeah. g- the ladies one more guy over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. That's what they were saying. Yeah, they were saying it's okay. You what go, are, uh, you please give me their names. <laughs> no, the people who are saying that uh, uh, you are bringing me to add me to some group of what girls or guys. What? Oh, guys. Yeah, to add the, the guys' population for ga- girls to choose from. Like Yes. Who, who are these people who are discouraging you? Actually, I've never heard this thing that you <laughs> <she's> said. <laughs> I'm hearing it for the first time. No, I, I was told that. And, and like, I'm like, looking at each other so serious to a point I'm thinking, oh my God, I don't want you guys to fight after this. <laughs> no, we're not going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know, this question sometimes they can get to a point and then you'll be like remember when you fight or when you're mad at him uh, remember what you said at bet <laughs> now when i put one and one together it's making sense <laughs> if it makes sense it will make sense oh my god yeah but like you know people discourage you they're like why are you going back to get someone from you kenya. know kenya and hustle so much and bring him here and you don't know like what he's gonna do and how things are gonna go mm-hmm. and you know at that at that time i was like you know there's nothing i can say because yeah. i also don't know mm-hmm. what's gonna happen so at that point like they have the upper hand mm-hmm. like they're just telling you what they think and you're like well but like even me i say like you you can't non someone cannot be with you because of you 
Yeah. They are with you because of because they want to be with you. That's so even true. if you you have someone here, who's to say that they're not going to leave you? No, no. And yeah. and who's to say they're not going to use you? And yeah. even like even like mm-hmm. you know, people that have had like relationships that have occurred naturally, things happen and things end and it's not to say that because you're together and you started by being together and you never did anything for them that they're going to stay with you. Mhm. There's nothing guaranteed in this world. That's true. You yeah, know? because you can meet someone here and for sure they will, you still break up. Yeah. But, but, but you know the fear that people have is sometimes you like uh, getting married to someone who is out there uh, in Africa mm. and then when they as soon as they come here they true colors show sure, yeah. and that person will be like I all I was you know I just wanted you to bring to you me to the country. Yeah, I know and those stories are there and it's re- there. and it has happened for some people. Yeah. But for me I like I I mean I I said you know what it could be him it could be somebody else. Yeah. So And also you guys you met when you were still young like Yeah, but a lot changes in 9 years. Yeah. So you never really know like yeah. and even the truth me, for me I'm like anything you do in life is a risk and you do what you want. Kasababu like you're going to say okay I'm not going to go back and and get him mm. because he might leave me or you know he might use yeah. me and then who's to say that okay I'm going to say let me marry this other guy who's to say that he's going to stay yeah. you know like never you never know. know so you do what's best for you you pray to god yeah. you know you you talk you discuss your fears and uh you say what what is important to you and things like that and if you both agree mm-hmm. you go ahead and do it if it's meant to be it will continue to be if something happens then you did your best and you did what was best for you at the time okay what is the advice you will tell people that are you know they got a chance they won green card they have come here they are love their girlfriends are out there are still back in the country and they get the they get discouraged mm-hmm. by obviously how people are or other other people people's experiences mm-hmm. you know something like that okay yeah, i think first of all like the process is go- is not going to be easy for both of you whoever is here and whoever is out there because um to whoever is here this people this person is struggling also to get acquainted to this area and be in that platform that you are now comfortable to bring another person then also learning the whole process of the um, the visa processes it's yeah. not easy for that new person because for green card maybe for instance it's green card let's say that and you are here so you are trying to learn how to bring someone with a different visa process so learning that process also convincing that person that everything will be okay then the other person on the other end like trying to hold on to the love Mm. that everything will be okay even for that guy because that guy is here there are girls who are here who are also like you said they are lonely mm. so they are also looking for that so it's the whole thing is messed up all of you have to just be strong for each other yes <clears throat> to keep on striving have an end goal mm. have a process that you have uh, that is going to guarantee you at least the the possibility of you seeing each other and whoever is back in the country uh, to know that this well sijikan is grass is greener but there's there are more possibilities here than yeah. where you are so what about finances by the way like let's say uh, do you expect your partner to do everything for you just because they're here like do you chip in even if you're still back home mm. did you have to oh, pay for everything yourself oh no i think we cost shared Yeah because like those uh expenses like medical visa some of actually I paid most of them mm-hmm. and even the air ticket mm-hmm. because yeah I was still hustling mm-hmm. Nyla, so Nyla she Nyla is doing um, dark she will close the door mm-hmm. Yeah so I still I I still found it um how do you call it I I was doing something on my end I was working right mm-hmm. Yeah so as I was working Um I got some money you save up you pay some of those expenses because on this other side she's also trying to make sure that where I'm coming to is also good because she has to rent a house she has yeah. to buy some stuff and rent here is very expensive mm-hmm. 
So when you think of what she's doing here, you have you also think of what can I do on my end on this side to help and make the situation a bit easier for her. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. So yeah. you 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 don't just sit there and say oh ule ako ako maju yeah. is the one Expect who will her save to do everything. everything yeah. For, yeah. Even if it's a guy, it and the chick is the one who is in Kenya and is about to join at least do something on your end oh, yeah. to help your situation yeah. because it's imagine you are out there you want to come to the US you want to buy new shoes and you are asking money for shoes mm. even this person who is here is, is like okay is this the person i'm coming to to like take care of if she can't even buy her own shoes mm. mm-hmm. yeah. so i've heard of uh, people who actually i've heard of somebody who their their boyfriend were sending money Mm-hmm. to them mm-hmm. you know when they were starting life here it mm-hmm. was the you struggle a little bit and then your partner will send you some money even from back home it happens yeah yeah so. it doesn't mean that that because you're in the US you you have to pull the whole weight yeah. sometimes people in Kenya and other countries are doing even better than people that are here yeah yeah so whatever you can do and you have to remember the relationship is you as both of you yeah it's not one sided <laughs> It's it's not just the person who's in the US who wants the relationship it's both of you. Both of you yeah, yeah, so you have to chip in in all ways like communication both of you have to be commu- to be communicating effectively both of you you have to contribute financially you have to you have to understand the process yeah. you yeah. know just yeah. be in everything that re- you both require to be so that your relationship can work. Because I think money can also contribute to breakup. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah, that's like one of the biggest contributors yeah. to like money and communication. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for because sure. for instance, if you don't have the money to pay for the medical, most likely there's some something about the process that you'll miss. Mm-hmm. And if you miss it, it means you have to start again. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when you start again, someone will be disappointed. Someone will feel like there's no need of trying this thing mm-hmm. because if you've put in maybe fifty thousand. Kenya shillings or or maybe five five hundred dollars into this and nothing is working hmm. and this person is not serious on the other end then this is there's no re- reason for us to continue mm-hmm. this relationship yeah 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 mm-hmm. actually those processes are like a project that you have to do together you know and it's one that really tests tests your relationship mm. your communication yeah the way you work together yeah. like if you see people working together and bringing somebody here mm. they've worked together like both of them and and so the intention behind it is what matters like you were saying earlier some people work so hard because their intention is to come to the US and once they get here mm. they leave that person it's not the love yeah, that was there but like both of them both people have a motivation so mm. just make sure that your motivation is the same like you both want to be together That's and true. have a life together yeah wow thank you so much yeah. uh, for sharing your love story i wish we had more time but uh we i'll bring you back to the channel again so that we can continue with this topic of love yeah, yeah. Uh, relationship and also especially distance relationship because there are oh, so yeah. many people write to me they tell me that their spouses are here and oh. they are back home so this is uh it's an important topic because it happens you know yeah. relationship people are still so yeah we can talk about this another time i'll be more than happy to have you oh yeah, oh, yeah. thank you so <laughs> much thank you for so much for having us in your yeah. channel yeah. again if you haven't subscribed to them uh ella nick their channel i'll put the link down below so that you can subscribe to their channel and expect more of these kind of amazing <laughs> videos yes, <laughs> from yes. us. Yeah. God bless you and take care of yourselves. Thank Peace. you. Thank you.